Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we're going to be installing an Alliant Power valve cover gasket for a 7.3 power stroke and internal wiring harness. This is the internal wiring harness and the valve cover setup for the 1999 to 2003 power stroke engines. To our 7.3 customers, if you guys are doing injector changes, glow plug changes, if you're chasing out a problem where you're having a miss or perhaps your truck actually uh, failed a cylinder on a buzz test and you think you may have an a electrical problem and you've diagnosed it down to being either the internal harness or the valve cover, we have got a solution for you from Alliant Power. Well, we've done several Alliant Power videos. Uh, we just wanted to make sure that we went over this and talked about some of the failures that you see in the valve cover gasket and the internal wiring harness that you see on the 7.3s that a lot of 7.3 trucks are plagued with. We're going to show you properly how to uh, how to remove and reinstall your new valve cover gasket and internal wiring harness. Um, this is cheap insurance for a correctly running truck. So again, if you're doing an injector change or glow plug changes on the truck or you've got the valve cover off for whatever reason it is, we always suggest for you to go ahead and replace these two components on your truck. This is gonna give you years of service from your vehicle, worry-free service for the, for the vehicle. And this is a really, really, um, it's just a really high failure point, just a very common failure on the 7.3. So let's go ahead and get started with our installation. Today we're going to be installing on a 2000 7.3 Power Stroke in an excursion. We're going to go ahead and install our internal and our valve cover harness from Alliant Power now on this 7.3 Power Stroke. We are going to work on the passenger side and we're going to show you removing the gasket and the wiring harness on the passenger side because it's so much easier to see. Now make sure that you click the link in this video for our video on how to remove the valve covers from a 7.3. We will link you to that in that video. If the link does not show up, there will be a link in our video description uh, for this. So let's go ahead and, and remove our old uh, gasket and internal wiring harness on this motor. now. First thing, you want to make sure that with the valve covers off the truck, you're being very conscious of what you're doing. Try not to have tools laying around here that they can fall into the valve cover, fall down into the motor, so on. Just be conscious of what you're doing here. Uh, be super, super careful. So the first thing that I want to talk to you about is the clip for the stock, uh, the stock valve cover harness. This is one of the biggest mistakes that people make. If you're watching this video, and let's say you're not actually um, you're, you're not actually going to be replacing this gasket, but you're taking the gasket off for whatever reason. Maybe you're taking it off for testing purposes, so on. This is the biggest mistake that people make because they don't disengage this clip correctly and they break it. Then when they break it, guess what? When they've broken it, you've got to use zip ties or something to keep it together. You don't want to do that because you're not going to complete the circuit correctly. You're going to have to get a new pigtail harness for this, for this factory harness, which we sell as well. But we want to keep you from having to buy that because you shouldn't. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to disconnect this correctly. When you first look at this connector, you can see that there's a tab underneath of there and it almost looks like this tab engages this and this band is actually part of the valve cover gasket. It's not. There's two little notches here. You know what? I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a new gasket and just show you. Here you go. You can look at it right here on this new gasket. I'm gonna show you. You can see that how that's hollow in the middle. This engages this valve cover from the other side of it. You push the connector in. <laughs> you push the you push the connector in and then it engages the bottom side of this connector. So let me show you how that comes apart. All right, it's just as simple as pushing on the very center of this. You push the center of this and what that's going to do is that's going to disengage both sides of it. You shouldn't have to use a screwdriver here or anything. If you do it correctly, it'll come loose really, really easy. Super easy on that. Okay, so that's how you disengage this truck stock wiring harness from this. All right, now, working on the electrical connectors at your injectors and your glow plugs. 
Easy to do here again as well. Just push the, the I call these bail trips, the connector clips. You just push that forward and then go ahead and pull your injector clip out, just like so. All right, I like to do those first before I do my glow plugs. Just go ahead and get them out of the way and I'll run through those real quick. Go ahead and pop them all out. That one wasn't making a very good connection back there. All right, and now I'll go after my glow plugs. If you're gonna reuse this internal wiring harness, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're very, very careful when you're doing this. Also, I like to have the, the injector harness undone first when you go to unhook your glow plug. So the glow plug electrical connector, you just pull straight up on that and it'll disengage from the glow plug, just like so. You can flip it up out of the way. So now I'm gonna go through, do the other glow plugs. Flip that up out of the way. Okay. Flip that one up out of the way. Your number eight cylinder is a little bit harder to get to. Got it. Pop right out. All right, so now we've got all the wiring harness disengaged there. So removing it from the truck is just as simple as picking up on it. Be aware of where all your connectors are and lift it right out. All right, so we're gonna to talk to you just a little bit about diagnosing uh, a valve cover problem. So if you're chasing a valve cover problem, if you've got a miss in your truck, or perhaps if you do a buzz test on the truck and that cylinder sounds weak, you possibly have got a, uh, a a wiring harness problem underneath of the valve covers here. So you've pulled it down here, you're going to check it. You know, really easy to check. I check it with everything assembled. So, you know, what I'll do is I'll find continuity if I'm looking one specific fitting. So I'll, I'll, I'll check for continuity here. And then once I find continuity on it, then I'll ohm it. You know, I'll ohm it down to make sure it pulls down. So that tells me that the wire is in good shape. If it'll do this through the cover, then you're in, you're, you're okay. If you find a wire that uh, doesn't ohm down very well through the cover, so you think there may be a problem or a break in the wire, you can separate the internal harness and you separate the internal harness just like you would pull the stock harness off push the middle of the clip, pull it down. Then you would want to ohm test between here and the connector to make sure that your problem isn't in this part of the pass through of the valve cover. So that's just a little bit about, you know, looking at the valve cover if you're doing some testing uh, and so on. And it can get a, get a little bit more complicated than that. You don't want to, you know, you want to make sure with your probing that you don't, um, for lack of a better term, waller out one of these ends to where that doesn't make good connection with the injector um, at that time. So you can also check the, the glow plug side. If you look through here, the larger of the spades are the glow, the glow plug supply because it's, it, it runs a, uh, a higher uh, wattage. So they're the thicker of the spades. So those four will be in there. So yeah, yeah. And that's separating the uh, internal harness from the external valve cover harness. So now I'm gonna show you how to assemble this, how to assemble your new unit. We always suggest changing this. Uh, this is cheap insurance like we were talking about if you're doing injectors or you're changing glow plugs out or so on. You're already right here at the valve cover harness. It breaks down over time. Go ahead and shoot for, uh, go ahead and shoot for uh, replacing this if you, if you you know go ahead and afford to do it. So to reassemble this, same way you took it apart. You want your latches, and this will actually tell you on the the uh, on the gasket says reusable gasket. This is the top of it, so that's going to be our top side. On these gaskets, this indention right here, this actually goes down underneath of the valve cover, and it um, it cradles that rifle where the bolt holes go there in the head. So this is the outside, and this is the top. So our harness is gonna go just like this right here with the connector towards the outside. You wanna make sure that you got good engagement of the spades here, of the terminals, cause you can roll these terminals over. If you roll them over, you've bent them up and there's just about no getting it back at that point. Then 
There are uh, plastic connectors here that go on the top side of the harness. This keeps the harnesses up and away from the rocker arms and the push rods, so you don't have to worry about that. So you just go ahead and pop those in there so you're good to go. So now at this point, this assembly is ready for you to take uh, and go ahead and drop in the truck. You can look at your old wiring harness and see which way the reds and the blues go and the yellows and greens go. So you know you've gone, you've got it the right way and you've got everything facing the right way if you want to double check that. So that's how you assemble the harness. I like to assemble them out here on the mesh before I throw them in the truck. So we're ready to reinstall this gasket and wiring harness. We've got our harness assembled, our, our valve cover gasket assembled. We're gonna go ahead and lay it back in the truck. Watch your connectors there. And you wanna facilitate getting those back in the truck by just working with your wiring harness. So there, get the back, and that should lay down flush against the head. Make sure that your head is clean. You've got that surface clean and ready to accept a gasket. So now, at this point, what we do is we do our glow plugs first. So I will slip the connectors over the glow plugs. I can get it started on the glow plug like that. so. Go ahead and make sure it's straight. The new connectors are super, super snug on the glow plug, so you wanna make sure that they're straight. And just lightly with your needle nose pliers, go ahead and push that down until you've got good engagement on your glow plugs and you're good. Then you wanna go ahead and get your connector at your injector wired up and this the wire is going to want to weigh one what want to lay one way naturally so that being said don't twist your wiring harness up into an awkward position because eventually that's going to break down kinking that wire and you're going to have a connection issue right out of the gate like I'm having right now. stuff and then click just on there like that so I've got my wires laying where they naturally want to lay we're gonna go ahead and cut the sound off here so Adam and I can ch chat about the Braves baseball and we will fast forward through this and talk to you at the end one last step in our valve cover installation here is to go ahead and hook back up our stock wiring harness that feeds the valve cover so we go ahead and line that up all of our spades are new here so you're gonna have to put a little bit more pressure on it but just watch what you're doing make sure you do the right thing so we're hooked up there we're good and flush against the against the uh, against the head there we're in good shape looks good so yeah if you're doing an injector change you're doing a glow plug change you're right here these are expensive components that you're replacing um, you know these trucks have got a lot of mileage on them at this point it doesn't matter what year it is it's probably got high mileage on it it's it's time to change the, the valve cover harness so if you're having any problems with misses and you're chasing it down and it's electrical and not a mechanical portion of the injector or a, or a oil or fuel supply you know for sure just go ahead and do the gaskets go ahead and do the valve cover gaskets and do the internal gaskets 
Light powers setup is really, really nice. I, you know, a lot of people would say, ah, oh, well, there's no difference in this, that, and the other. Um, the light power setup on these, you can look at it and you can see less wire here. So it's more tucked back in here. Looks really, really good. I always want to make sure that my wiring harness as well is on the upside of my oil dashers. You can look at some of these, like this one right here. I want to try to roll that one that harness right there to the upper side of the oil dasher just like that right there get it on the upper side of the oil dasher so the oil dasher is not actually just oil hitting that wire every time so you want to make sure you're clearing all of your push rods here clearing your rocker arms um, that you've got all your connectors in engaged and ready to go so this has been the installation of the Alliant Power um, valve cover and internal harness for the 7.3 Power Strokes, uh, 99 to 2003 trucks. Adam had noted when we walked away from there, I called this the passenger side of the truck. This is not the passenger side of the truck. This is indeed the driver's side of the truck. So if you're watching this and you caught that, yes, I am working on the driver's side and yes, it is the easier of the two sides. So make sure you check out our video uh, and make sure you check out our video on removing the valve covers and it'll get you down to this point. Like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have a question about Alliant Power or any 7-3 questions or any questions at all, give us a call. Thank you for watching.